Hi, my name is Logan Richardson, and something that I have always been fascinated with is mimicry in the animal kingdom. Particularly today, I'm going to be focusing on polymorphic mimicry. Now, one of the biggest differences between camouflage and mimicry is in camouflage, your goal is to not be seen, to not be perceived. In mimicry, your goal is to be perceived, but as something other than what you actually are. In the case of polymorphic mimicry, this means a species is taking on a couple of different forms of a couple of different species in its environment. In the case of the Heliconius butterfly or hoverflies, this would mean disguising yourself, somebody who is more palatable, as another species that is toxic or just generally less palatable to predators. Where polymorphism comes into play is that these species aren't just taking on the form of one other toxic or undesirable species in their environment, they're actually taking on the form of multiple. Therefore, one species has many different appearances. This helps protect the longevity of their species for a number of reasons. For example, if predator A does decide to sample butterfly pattern A and finds out he's actually not toxic and tastes pretty good, then suddenly all of those butterflies that have that morph are at risk. But if that butterfly has multiple different colorations, then all of the other morphs are safe from that predator still, helping to confuse him and keep him on his toes. Another reason this differing of appearance could be beneficial is that in each ecosystem, the model species may be a little different. Therefore, to retain that protection and ease that predation pressure, you want to look like the group and not the odd man out. To make sure that your species thrives and not just survives, you are going to have to worry about mate selection. In the case of polymorphism, you get some more interesting appearances, which makes those more desirable mates, therefore increasing breeding. Polymorphism is a complex and multifaceted type of mimicry, and it has a huge amount of benefits for the species that are able to participate in it. And that's why I think it's super interesting.